Hi, I'm Dara with the Healy Technology Report, and today we're going to have a look at PFSense routers and how to set up dual WAN. So what this means is uh, in your office, if you have two internet connections, one might be faster, one might be slower, one might be a backup in case the first one fails, and then you have two uh, WAN connections. And so we're going to set up PFSense so that if one fails, the primary fails, automatically your traffic is going to switch over to your secondary uh, connection. So let's jump right in and see how this is done. Okay, so this is our uh, PFSense and there's a couple things you need to do to set up the dual WAN. You can see here I've got a, a number of interfaces. I've got one that's down. That's because we don't use this one right now. But we have our uh, Helia LAN with our internal network for this particular site. And then we've got a, a DSL connection as well as a higher speed wireless connection. And all of them are up right now. Uh, the other thing you'll notice is with our uh, higher speed um, connection we were currently double matted and that's that's not usually the best way to go but that's uh, what we have at this site okay so different things we need to look at uh, first of all let's make sure that our uh, LAN is is set up so we're gonna have a look at our DSL connection first and that's a PPPoE connection uh, and I've got my username and password down below here uh, and so that needs to be set up and then also of course for our WAN, our secondary WAN connection, in this case is it's DHCP. If we go to um, our routing tab here, there is gateway groups that we need to set up. So in this case here, you can see I've got a gateway group and I'm just going to go in here to edit it to show you the settings and what's important. So we've got a tier one and tier two, and this tier one means that our wireless connection is always going to take precedence over our PPPoE connection. And so uh, whenever the wireless connection is up, that's where traffic is going to go. When the wireless connection is down, then it's going to go to this PPP uh, DSL connection that we have. And you can see it's here, it's triggered by the member down. Okay, so next thing we need to have a look at is under firewall. So uh, we're going to have a look at the firewall here and we're going to have a look at our rules. And then we want to have a look at our floating rules. So we're going to have to create a floating rule here that says that all outbound traffic uh, in this case, port 80 traffic is always going to go through the WAN group. And you remember, the WAN group is what we found here under system and routing. We've created a, a WAN group there. Uh, so this needs to be set up as well. I'm going to click on the edit uh, just so you can see the settings here. Uh, and so it passes the rules and the important thing is uh, down below 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 normally there's the advanced options or the button that you have to press to exp uh, expose all of this uh, but what you'll see is the gateway is WAN group and normally that's on default but we want to leave it on WAN group okay and then the next thing we want to have a look at is under rules and then our outbound rules for our LAN. So normally, uh, this particular rule here is set up uh, as part of the initial setup. It's an automatic rule. And normally it says all um, traffic from our LAN, uh, and it doesn't matter what traffic or what port, it's gonna go through any gateway and what we've had to do here is change the gateway to be to the WAN group again so we're gonna go and we're gonna click on that and if we scroll way down to the bottom of here you can see the gateway is again the WAN group okay so now we're gonna do some uh, some testing I'm gonna go back to my dashboard and I'm going to go to IP chicken and refresh it and here you'll see my uh, IP address now this one is from Shaw I'm going to pause the video run over and disconnect my Shaw connection and then we'll confirm that's rolled over by getting a different outbound address and that's for my second connection I'll be right back okay so I've disconnected the um, um, 
our, our Shaw connection here, our, our, no, sorry, it's not Shaw, it's a Tarago connection in our case. And so uh, what you'll notice here, I'm going to refresh this screen, and you'll notice that the WAN wireless connection has been disconnected. So you can see there is no WAN wireless connection. And so what we expect is the traffic is going to be routed over this IP address here, ending in .97. So I'm going to refresh this page, and you can see it's now .97. Now, um, this is the first in a number of videos. Uh, and so uh, check back later. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We uh, really appreciate that, and we've got a lot of great videos on there already and coming out. I'm Dar with the Helio Technology Report. Thanks for watching.